how to compose and send an email on your Samsung Galaxy S10, S10A or S10 Plus. First tap on the home key to go back to your home screen. Then swipe up from the home screen, go into the Samsung folder. From here tap on email and in email go to your inbox and then select the account that you want to use. So here I'm just going to use the IT Jingles test account. And then I'm going to compose an email, so tap on the compose button down here which is like uh, setting up a new email. In here is the to address, that's where you want to send it to. You can see over here there is a contact icon, you can tap on that and you can choose a contact in your uh, address list. You can also tap on here to manually enter in the email address manually. So I'm just going to put in test at ajjungles.com and then tap on thumb. So thumb is like which email account. So if you have more than one email account on your device, you could choose the email account that you want to use. So here we can choose um, test at edgyjungles.com and then type in the subject name. So I'm going to put in test subject and in here I'm just going to put in the email content. This is a test. Now once you're happy, you can tap on the send button. If you want to attach um, images or other files, you can tap on the attachment icon right here. And in attachment, you can choose gallery, my files and other things. So here you can see there are a few things you can attach, a calendar event, locations, uh, photos, notes, voice recorder, video, uh, you can use the camera to take your photos, my files, or gallery. So select one, and then I'm going to tap on allowed. And in here, I'm going to uh, tap on one of the image. Uh, this one here, I'm going to choose this one, and then tap on done. So that's it. So here you can see I have attached an image to the email. And once you're ready, you just tap on the send button. Now you can see down here also there are some... Uh, editor tools. So let's say I want to bold this line of text. I can tap on bold. I can also change the font size of the email and I can underline or make it italic. There's also an image that I can insert into the email directly, into the email itself. So this is within the email. So this, this is different to the attachment. This one here you actually insert it right into the email itself. And that's it. So once you're happy, just tap on the send button. And that's it. Off it goes. So in here, uh, it should arrive into my uh, email box. At the top here, look like there is an issues. Um, we can drag it down and have a look. It says setting failed. So we're going to check it out and see what's going on. So this is the outbox. Outbox. It says couldn't send. So this could be due to the fact that um, the email has an attachment and the attachment might be too big for, perhaps and in the mailbox, depending on the settings of your mailbox, that could also cause some issues. So I'm going to choose a different account. Uh, this is from Gmail. I'm going to use Gmail account to send out the email. And let's see what's going on this time. So I'm going to tap on the send button. And it says sending email, as you can see down here. Now this image is quite big. It's um, 8 megabyte, and you can see it's trying to upload the photo, that's why it's taking so long. So without the attachment, normally it should uh, be easy. Up here you can see there is an icon that's um, showing that it's been uh, the email is being sent, and uh, it's flashing, that means it's uploading something. As you can see right there, the icon has an arrow flashing outwards. Then down here you can also get a stat saying send an email. So at this point you can tap on the home screen to go back to your home screen, home key to go back to your home screen. And at the top here you can see on the background it's still trying to send out the email. And so that's done. And we can go back to the email app. So sent. You can see it has already gone out and inbox, inbox. So 
So I'm going to switch to a different account. Maybe it could be in this account here. So still trying to wait uh, for the emergency sync down to the phone. So you can see here, recipient inbox full. So I set my uh, mailbox to a maximum of five megabytes. And you can see here the response from the remote server was uh, block limits exceeded. So uh, I put the limits quite low so that people don't spam me. And basically, um, that's how you can compose and send out an email on your Samsung Galaxy S10, S10A or the S10 Plus. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.